You are not like me. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Jesus. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. My gosh. I have been gone forever. My Jesus. Glory, 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 glory be to God. Hi, everybody. Hi, oh my God. Yes, God, my Vida. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you, 2023. Good, 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 good. We thank God. We thank God for another day. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 27 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Even when my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a horse should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though a horse should rise up against me, even in this will I be confident. Because there's only one thing of I desire of the Lord that I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord, to hold the beauty of the Lord, and to acquire His temple. Hallelujah. Thank God for another bright new year. What is today? Today is Saturday, January 14th, 2023. Glory be to God. It's on the 14th already. On the 14th of January, or almost two weeks of January, it's already gone. My gosh. But I'm so grateful. I have to take off for a little bit. And um, just to have a family time. Just have a family time. And had a great time with my son and his wife and a beautiful newborn baby that God has given to us. It was a gift. So I have to go and do grandma's job. <laughs> yes, grandma has to go and do what grandma does. So I've been gone and I miss you guys so much. But I'm so grateful that I am back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We missed you. Oh, I miss you guys too. I can't wait. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to come back. But thank you guys for everyone who has been calling and checking on me. I thank God for you. I thank God for each and every one of you. Today we are going to dive into the Word of God. Amen. The Christmas, the New Amen. Year, we're going to bump it all together. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Where is Minister Debbie? Where is Minister Debbie? She's here. Hey. She's here doing work with Zara. <laughs> She's doing what? School work with Zara. Oh my God! Sophie, your granddaughter, she's applying to schools, and we have to write some statements and questions. So I'm helping her to finish that up. Oh, okay. So, well, one hour cannot wait. You pronounce wrong to you. They, what, so they have to. They have to get it by tomorrow Sunday. So you have to finish yeah, now. The fifteenth is the last day. To the Mayo Clinic. No. And uh, his dad started it. He didn't tell me where he got to and left to go. Oh, okay. And okay. then he came back and then everything is like last minute. Okay. So I have to. Yeah. All right. All right. No problem. Thank you, ma'am. We will get together. I'll do the best I can. Holy Ghost is always there to help us. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Today, we're going to dive into the Word of God. I, um, John chapter 9. We're going to look at John? S- John chapter 9. John chapter 9. There is two stories in this John. Um, mm-hmm. A lame man who was blind. Two people who were blind. Two separate people. One in John mm-hmm. chapter 5. And this one is also in John chapter 9. Amen. Um. So this is what it says in John chapter 9 verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, my goodness, yeah. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents that has that he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. For I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day. The night cometh, when no man can work. Five, and as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. Amen. What I wanted to emphasize, and what I wanted to talk to us to do to, to, today, tonight, is about this blind man that was blind from birth. He was born. The Bible said the man who was blind from birth. In the other words, he has never seen before. Mm-hmm. Before he came out of his mother's womb, he was already blind. He, was. he never saw nothing. And his disciples asked the, the Lord, why is he blind? Did he sin? That's why he was blind? Was his mother sin or his daddy sin? That is why he was born blind. But listen to what Jesus said. He said, neither has this man sin, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Amen. Amen. Spirit of the living God, we just want to thank you tonight. We want to praise you. We want to glorify you. We honor you for who you are. What a marvelous God you are. What a wonderful God you are. What a miracle God that you are. Merciful God. The kindness of God is in you. You are the God of kindness. Father, we just want to thank you. That you have watched over us. Yes. All the way from 2022. And now here we are in 2023. It is nothing but your grace. It is your mercy. It is your love. It is your grace that has made us to be who we are even now. Father, therefore, we say thank you. Thank you for your word that we are bound to hear, Father. For me, I say decrease so that you will be increased. Speak your word through me, O God, so that there will be clarity, so that there will be a transformation, that there will be something that we have never had before. Because there is a a man that was born blind and he's getting ready to have something that he has never had before. Father God, we ask that as we dive into your word, supply us with things that we have never had before. Don't restore anything back to us, but give us something that we have never seen before. Something that we have never had before. Something that we have never done before. Some places that we have never gone before. Have your way tonight. Do it again, Father. 
Do the thing that you do always when you step into a place. Do the thing that you do all the time that when you enter into a room. Do the thing, the thing that you do that when you show up in the place in the, in the midst of your people. Spirit of the living God, I invite you. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way again tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. This is a man that was born blind. Has never done anything wrong. Just a little baby that just came out of a mother's womb. The Bible said he was blind. And the disciples said to him, Lord, what did he do? That caused him to be blind. Sometimes things happen into our lives. That somebody who sit over there will, will say, Oh, this is what you did. That's why you are going through what you are going through. This is what you said. That's why you are going through what you are going through. This is what happened to you. That's why you're finding all these things. These challenges is coming into your life. But they don't know. Little did they know that people will just maybe God allow certain things to happen into our life so that his name will be glorified. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, This man was blind because the glory of God was getting ready to be manifested in his life. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, here we are, here they are standing in the midst looking. And what did Jesus did? What did Jesus did? Let's read forward to verse 6. And when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of salam means peace amen, amen. which is amen. by interpret salam which by an interpretation means sent which means god is sending him amen he amen. went he went his way therefore and washed and came back saying hallelujah amen how can jesus Spit on the ground and mix it with the clay and put it on the blind man's eyes. What does it look like? It looked like a mess. How can you spit and put in the clay? The person cannot see. Now you put this in on top of the blind eyes and you ask him to walk. My God. <laughs> So when the, the spit was, was mixed with the clay and put it on top of the eyes, it looked like a messy. But how much do you know that your mess that you are seeing in your life can tend to be God's miracle? Hallelujah. Amen. I said the mess is getting ready to turn into miracle. So God allowed him and he walked. He walked. Why? He walked according to the obedience of God's word. Amen. When God asked him to walk, he did not question him and say, Why are you asking me to walk? I cannot see. You put this man in, in, on top of my blindness and you asking me to walk. But as he took the step of faith, he was able to go and wash. And he came back. The Bible said what? He came back seeing. We can be in a problem, in a position, in, 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 in our challenges. And we feel like, oh God, we are sitting there. We're waiting for God to come. God said, don't wait for me to come. 
I have given you everything else that you need. All you have to do is accept my word, believe what I told you, and take a step of faith. Amen? And walk towards whatever you are looking for. And walk towards the, that, that, that dream. And walk towards whatever that you wanted to do in life. Amen? And that mess, Amen. that mess that was in his face was able to change and turn into a miracle. Hallelujah. God Amen. did not restore the, the blind man. God gave him something that he had never had before. Mm. Hallelujah. He had never Amen. seen before. But God, when Jesus gave him something that he has never had before. Now, let's go back to how, where, how did God, Jesus, give this blind man something that he has never had before. First of all, Jesus spit. And we all know that DNA is always, when you want a child is born and they want to find out who the father is, do you know what they do? The saliva in your mouth is that what they do, that's a DNA. Mm -hmm. The spit that Jesus put and mixed with the clay. Remember Genesis chapter 2. How do we, we were formed? We were formed, and the Bible said, the with the clay. So Jesus put his DNA, his, his DNA in the clay went down to the source because he never had one but when he was born. He didn't have it at all. So now Jesus is going back from the root from where he's supposed to have the eyes. He's supposed to be able to see to his sight. So he went down from the beginning of the root and spit and add his, his DNA to the clay and make this man to have a brand new eye. Hallelujah. Um, he went straight to your, to the source. Jesus did not restore back his eye. Jesus gave him a brand new eye. Amen. Because the Bible said he never had one. He was born, born blind. He never had any sight at all. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> he never, he never had any sight. But Jesus went back to Genesis chapter 2. And he said, I'm going to give you something that you were supposed to have a long time ago before you were born. And you never had one. Mm -hmm. So Jesus took his feet, his DNA, went back to, to the clay and mixed the clay up. It's only Jesus. Who can mix his DNA from your mess to become a miracle? Hallelujah. If it's only Jesus, glory be to God. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus, sometimes we ask God, I want you to restore this thing back to me. Father, this thing that I lost, I want it to back to, back to me. This is the 2022, 2023. This is a brand new year. You're not asking God to give you something that is already dead. God said, whatever is dead is dead. I'm getting ready to give you something brand new. Something that you have never had before. Hallelujah. Something that you have never seen before. Something that you have never touched before. Something that you have never been before. Hallelujah. Jesus is going to restore his eyes. He gave him a brand new eyes. Glory be to God. 2023. We are not asking God to restore anything back to us. We are asking God to give us something that we have never had before. Glory be to God. And whatever we are going through, whatever that we will find ourselves, in the place that we find ourselves, in the dark place that we think that everything is a mess in our life, God said, I'm getting ready to turn your mess into a message. I'm getting ready to turn your mess into a miracle. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. God was able. I said God was able. And this year, this is your brand new year. God said, I'm getting ready. As I give this man a brand new year, a brand new sight. I'm getting ready to give you a brand new sight. You will see again. I say you will see again. You will smile again. You will laugh again.
again. You will dance again. You will run again in the name of Jesus. Amen. The things that you have never had before. This is a year of comeback. Everything that has been lost, everything that the enemy has taken from you, anything that has lost, God said, I'm not going to restore. I'm giving you back a brand new, something that you have never touched, something that you have never experienced, because this man received something that he has never had. Hallelujah. My prayer tonight, that whatever that you are seeking for, whatever that you are asking God to do in this new year, that we have just started, that we have just entered, I want you to enter this year with a brand new mindset, that God is getting ready to give you something, open doors that have never been opened, give you a brand new creativity, something that you have never dreamed of, God said, I'm getting ready to turn your mess into a miracle. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. The man went with the brand new eyes, with the brand new sight. What is your will? What is your desire? What is your goal this year? What have you planned? What is, is your dream that you want God to help you to accomplish in 2023? He said, I, this man was blind so that God's name will be glorified. Glory be to God. I said, your name, because of you, God's name. God said, I'm ready to do a brand new thing in your life so that my name will be glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, God Amen. will do something so miraculous. Miraculous thing that God is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to unleash in your life that nobody, everybody will be able to tell that this is from nobody but from God. Hallelujah. And all the honor Amen. and all the glory and all the adoration and all the thanksgiving will be given unto him and him alone. Amen. Amen. This is the year of a new beginnings. Hallelujah. Because it's a new year. And God is always doing a new thing. I said God is doing always. Let's look at um, Romans chapter 8. The book of Romans. <clears throat> Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Romans 8 and 11. <clears throat> but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Jesus from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the same spirit that dwells in you. Hallelujah. The same spirit that, that, that raised up Jesus from the dead. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. You have the same spirit in you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. I say you have the same spirit in you. You have the same power in you. That you'll be able to speak to the dead things in your life. That you'll be able to resurrect everything that is dead in your life. To quicken it up. Even now in the name of Jesus. Everything that is dead is getting ready to be resurrected. Because the same power, because the same glory, because the same thing that is in Jesus' life is in you. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Amen. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, come on. I'm just calling you to let you know that I'm on the prayer line. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said the same power, the same power, the same spirit, the same glory that raised up Jesus from the dead. That same glory is in you. The same power is in you that is able to quicken every dead thing that is in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything. Everything that has been dead in your life. 2023. 
Glory, 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 glory. I said 2023 is a comeback. It's a new beginning. It's a new thing. It's a new life that is getting ready to shake every dead thing in your life. Glory be to God. And God said, I'm not even resurrecting that dead things, but I'm resurrecting something new that I've already embedded in you. Something that you already have all long ago. Glory be to God. That you already have in you. That has been laying dormant. God said, I'm getting ready to quicken it. If you can... Oh my goodness. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory God. Praise the Lord. This this thing is it's costing yeah, it's costing giving me a little disturbances in here, but I'm gonna let I'm not even gonna focus on it right now. Um the same spirit, Romans 8 and 11. The same power that is in Jesus. Glory be to God. Let's go to Amos chapter Amos chapter 9, verse 13. Amos chapter 9. The book of Amos. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9, verse 13. <clears throat> Lil? What I'm typing and checking. Debbie, can you mute yourself because we can hear you? Oh, sorry. What would I mute Come on, if you. Amos, Amos, the book of Amos chapter, chapter 9, chapter 9 verse 13. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth the seed. And the and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all his hills shall melt. Hallelujah. Behold, the day is coming, said the Lord. You have been plowing and plowing and plowing. Your plowing season is over. Hallelujah. I say your plowing season is over. You're getting ready to take over. Glory be to God. I say, Grandma, can you read that scripture in, in the in God language? My goodness. Amos. Do you have it? Oh, it's okay, Grandma. It's okay. Sit down. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. And did you, did you get it? Hallelujah. The enemy trying to disturb her, but he's a liar. Don't worry about it, Grandma. Don't worry about it. It said, in Behold, the day is coming, said the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Yes. You're getting ready to overtake. Hallelujah. I said, 2023, you're getting ready to overtake everything that has been behind you. Everything that is not for you, that you're supposed to receive, that the enemy is using as a block, that you are not able to walk into your season, that you are not able to walk into your purpose. You're getting ready to walk in it and even to overtake it. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory be to God. So, this year, I don't know what you're waiting for. This year, I don't know what your dreams are. This year, I don't know what your resurrection is. What have you planned? What have you purpose in your heart? What have you purpose in your mind? What have you talked to the Lord about 
that the beginning of this year, this is what I want my life to be. This is what I want things to be. This is what I want to see in the life of my children. This is what I want to see in my ministry. This is what I want to see in my job. This is what I want to see in my business. God said, you are getting ready to overtake. Glory be to God. If you believe it, Type in, yes, 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 I'm overtaking. I'm getting ready to overtake. I'm getting ready to overtake. I'm getting ready to overtake. I'm taking it over right now. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm going over. I'm climbing over. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Whatever belongs to you, the enemy cannot take it away. I said, whatever belongs to you, the enemy can never take it away because you are the child of God. You are the child of heaven. Hallelujah. And Jesus loves you. Because of you, he died. He died for you and I so that we'll be able to have life. John 10 and 10, he said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The abundant life tonight, I pray over your life. I prophesy over your life that the abundance of God will overshadow you in the name of Jesus. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready to overtake. Get ready to overtake whatever belongs to you. Everything that God has died for you, you are waiting for God. God said, I'm waiting for you. You don't have to wait for me because I've already done everything. Everything that you need is already done. It's already accomplished. 3,000 years ago, Jesus did it. He did it for you and he did it for me. Hallelujah. So when you believe it, believe what God has done. Believe the things that he already did for you. Believe that he died for you. Believe that he suffered for you. That you would not have to suffer again. All the suffering has already been done. Jesus paid all the price for you and I to have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 4. I love this word. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 10. Proverbs chapter 4. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My God, my God, my God. Jesus will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Psalm 4. Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs. I'm sorry. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 10. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Hear all my son and receive my sayings. And the years of their life shall be many. Glory be to God. Oh, hear my, hear, oh my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of their life shall be many. The years of your life shall be many. This is the year that God says, whatever you are asking for, your years, your years, your years. My God. Mm -mm. Your years might be many. I don't know about you. And I don't know how you are thinking. I don't know what you think that your, your body is telling you. But God says, I have given you life. Glory be to God. And the years of your life is going to be many. This year, our prayer is that no sickness will have dominion over our life. Amen. I said no sickness, no sickness, no blood pressure, no diabetes, no cancer, no bone disease, no other disease will be able to tell our body to die when God says I have given you life. Hallelujah. He said with life, with long life would I satisfy you and I'll give you my salvation. Our prayer that tonight, that this year that we have, we have entered in, this year that he has given us the grace, we didn't get into this, this, this year by our own strength. We did not get into this year by our own knowledge. We get, we were able to get into this year because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because of the love of God. Because of the kindness of God. He has made it happen to us. And because, because of Him, oh, I say our life 
life will be long. Hallelujah. With long life, not long life with sickness, not long life with depression, but long life with tranquility, long life with peace and joy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. I said we love life. Not only would you live, but you will live to enjoy your life. I say you will live to enjoy every piece of your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you tonight. For your word has come. Our mess is getting ready to turn into miracle. Hallelujah. I said the mess that is in our life. You are getting ready to turn it around. You are turning it in ready right now. You are turning every mess that has come into our life. That the enemy thought he has given unto us. That he has worked so hard. That our life is going to be messy. But God, you are our mercy is your miracle. And we thank you tonight. That you are giving us miracles in every area of our lives. Miracles, miracles. Miracles in every situation. Miracles in the life of our children. Miracles even in our finances. Miracles in our jobs. Miracles in our in our thinking. Miracles in creativity. Miracles, oh God, is getting ready to happen to hit our home, to hit our lives. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, we thank you. We thank you for your saving knowledge. We thank you for your saving power. We thank you for your glory. You have held us up in the palm of your hand. And Father God, there is only one thing that you have promised us. That whoever that is in the palm of your hand, no devil, no witchcraft, nothing is able to take us from your hand. For Father, as we have pro you have promised us, we know that your promise is yes and it is amen. So we are holding on to your word. We are trusting in your word. We are leaning on to your word. That your word will come to pass. That every mercy, everything that has been messy in our lives, you will turn it around. Around. You are turning it around. You are turning it around. You are turning it around. In the name of Jesus, you are turning it to be a miracle. Yes, there will be a miracle. There will be a miracle. There will be a miracle. There will be a miracle that our eyes have never seen. Our ears haven't heard. Neither has he entered to the heart of men. The miracles that you are getting ready to unleash over our lives. We thank you. We thank you. Ye come a shakalaba. Man no robo can never secate. Lebrema conte baya. We thank you even now for the miracle, for the miracle, for the miracle for 2023. A miracle to see the things that we have never seen before. A miracle to have things that we have never had before. To walk in the places that we have never walked before. Walk in the doors that we have never walked into before. Creativity that we have never thought of. That we have never think of. That we have never dream of. You are getting ready to unleash your glory. Your glory, your glory, your glory. Your glory over our homes. Your glory over our lives. We thank you, oh God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise and we give you glory. We honor you, God. Glory be to your name. My God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Isaiah 43 verse 13. You all know I like the word. The word is a lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. The word of God is what we need. Isaiah 43. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah 43, 13. Glory, 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 glory. Isaiah 43, 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. Glory be to God. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Glory be to God. Jesus, I will work. And who shall let it? 
Let me read it again. Yea, before the day was, I am he. God is saying, before there was, there was he. He was before there was. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Nobody, nobody, no witch, no devil, no foul, nothing on earth or heaven will be able to take you from the hand of God. Will be able to pluck you when God has plucked you right in the middle of his palm. No one, no sickness, no cancer, nothing is able to deliver you from God's hand. Nothing is able to destroy you because you are in the palm of God's hand. Because you have been plucked. God has put you right in the palm of his hand. And no one can unput what God has put together. Glory be to God. He said, and I will work. And who shall let it? If I did it, who can destroy it? If I say yes, who can say no? And when I say no, who can say yes? Glory be to God. This is your word. Hold on to this, 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 this 2023. God said, uh, before there was, before the enemy thought they are getting ready to destroy you, before they had that meeting, before they sat over there and called your name, God said, you don't have to worry. But because before they started, I'm already, I am God. I am He. I am that I am. I am Jehovah Rapha. I am Jehovah El Elyon. I am Jehovah Teskenum. Before there was, I am He. I am El him. I am the creator of universe. I spoke unto existence. I created heaven and earth. So who is he that said he will destroy you? Who is he that will take everything and nothing that I've given unto you? Who can take when I said it? If I spoke, who can unspoke what I have spoke? Who? Who in the hell? Jesus said. Who? When there was he, I am he. This is your word. Whatever comes your way, remember that your God who created you, the one who created the heaven and earth, the one who breathed life into you, the one who died for you, the one who shed his blood for you, the one who died, and on the third day, on Sunday, early in the morning, rose up with power in his hand, who went to the grave, and went and got the keys, and gave the keys unto you, and said, whatsoever you bind on earth, will be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you lose on earth, will be lost in heaven, he is God, he is the one who died for you, who? Who is who? That can unleash anything that God has put together. All will be able to destroy. All to untie what God has taught, tied together. Who is he? Before there was, I am God. No wonder he told Moses. He said, go ahead and tell Pharaoh that I am that I am sent you. Before the was, I am. Glory be to God. He is your God. You start this year. I've been gone. I've been gone for over four or five weeks. Yes. I have to have a little family time together. And I've, I really had a good time. And I'm so grateful for that opportunity. Because it's not everybody who can get it like that. And I can get it like that. I can have it like that. Just because of the grace of God. It's only because of the mercy of God. It's only because of the goodness of God. That I can stand boldly on the shoulders of Jesus. And say, Lord, you did it, you did it, you did it. You did it again and again and again. And I am so grateful. And I've never been able to share anything with you guys all through the Christmas and the beginning of the, this of this year. But we have just entered in it. So this is your word. Hold on to it. And remember, when you're going through your rough time, when you're going through your dark hour, when you everything 
is so dark that you can't find your way that it seems like you can't find who and you be like god where are you where are you where are you where are you i can't find you job said i look to the right i can't find you and i look to my right i can't find you oh but though he slay me yet will i trust him you don't have to see him you just have to know that he's there with you because he promised in hebrews 13 he said i will never leave you nor forsake you he is god and all god by himself he is god omnipotent he's got all power all knowing he is there all existing he's a self-existing god glory be to god he is the god that you serve he is the mighty god that you have his name is jesus glory be to god tonight whatever your problem is tonight whatever your trouble is tonight whatever mountain that is so big remember that there is a god on the mountain and he's still god on the valley glory be to god he is not too cute that cannot reach down all the way down and grab you from your ditch to grab you from your pit glory be to god it is only god jesus who can come down in your valley to the lowest yes and you say god that can come to the mountain top wherever you are and can still be there with you why you are glorifying god why you are magnifying him he is still god that can be with you he is that god that loves you it doesn't matter what you find yourself it doesn't matter what you go through he is there with you with a thick or thing that's the god that you serve his name is jesus i say his name is jesus j-e-s-u-s jesus our savior jesus our redeemer jesus our soon coming king jesus our justifier jesus our righteousness jesus is our strength he is our rock the righteous will run into and they will be saved you run unto him run unto him run unto him his hands are open he's ready to receive you he's ready to hug you he's ready to give you everything that you need nothing is too hard for him with him all things are possible he gave that man something he had in his head he was blind from birth but he received his sight once i am lost but now i'm found once i am blind but now i can see if you don't see yourself you can see again if you know who jesus is and if you don't know him you better run to him because he's ready for you i say you better run to him and receive him into your life and he will make you brand new he'll give you something that you never had before he'll give you something that you have never held in your hands he will give you open the door that has never been open and every door that needed to be closed he will shut it for you that you've been waiting that you wanted to close it and you don't know how to god said you call on me and when you call upon me i will answer you and i'll show you great and mighty things that you know not he is a god that does what nobody can nobody can do i say he does what things that no man can do and the things that nobody can do that what that's what he does glory be to god so that his name will be glorified so that his name will be exalted so his name will be honored so that his name will be hallowed because he is the god that does all things hallelujah glory be to god i'm so grateful i am so fired up i can't wait for today listen I am back with full power. Glory be to God. I say I am full. I'm back. Next Saturday is on and on and on and on. Hallelujah. I have taken that rest that my soul needed. We all need some rest every now and then, y'all. We everybody Amen. does. Amen. Hallelujah. We all need Amen. that rest. Amen. Hallelujah. So I have Amen. taken it. I feel so refreshed. 
I feel rejuvenated. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, y'all, for coming next week. I know I'm going to be calling people to let them know. Dr. Q is on the line. Dr. Q is back on fire with the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. I love it. I love it. I'm telling you, continue to read. Continue to read Isaiah 43, 13. I'm telling you, it's a promise. It is a promise of God. Mm -hmm. That when you hold on to the promises of God, hallelujah, because amen. his promises are yes, and they are amen. amen. He's not like a man who will lie. Or a son of man that will repent. When he said he will do it. I said when he said it, he will do it. I said when he said it, he will do it. And if he hasn't done it for you yet, you don't have to worry. Because he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He might be delayed, but it's not denial. Glory be to God. I said it's only delayed, but it's not denial. God is getting ready to get to the root of your trouble. He went all the way down to the root and find out that this man has never had his sight. I'm not going to restore. The one in John chapter 4, when you have time, read John chapter 5. And find the lame man who was blind. That God called him and said, pick up your, your mat and go and walk. And God, Jesus, restore his eyes. But this man in John chapter 9, God gave him a new, brand new eyes. Hallelujah. He gave him a brand new one. Whatever you need, if you want something old, I don't want anything to be restored. I want a brand new thing. I need a brand new me because I'm in a brand new year. Hallelujah. Change my children. Change my life. Change my ministry. Change my relationship. Change everything to be brand new. If you do it for him, I know you can do it for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. He did it for him. And he will do it for you. And he will go all the way down to the roots of the root cause. He realized what is wrong with the man. And he realized that we were made, we were created in his image. And he went down to the dust. We were created from dust. So he went to the dust and put his DNA in it and fixed it and put it back in the eye. And he was able to see. I said, God will do it for you. He's going down all the way down to the root of your trouble, to the root of your problem, to the root in your home. He's getting ready to fix it. He's getting ready to change it. He's getting ready to renew it and make it brand new again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I love it. I love you for the fact that he gave him something new. He gave him something that he has never had before. That's what he killed. That's what that, that's what just make my heart to melt. I said, Lord, if you can give him something that he never had, you can give me something that I've never had. Hallelujah. Because he's not a respecter of person. That's what the Bible said. If he do it for John, he will do it for Joseph. If he do it for Joseph, he will do it for James. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. We thank God for another night. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's getting ready to do a brand new thing for you. Do you remember? Do you know? Do you believe? Do you believe that he can do something new? I said, do you believe he can do something brand new and give you something that you've never had in your life? Amen. This year, when you are praying, don't tell God to fix nothing. Say, God, give me something new. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new.
something wonderful. He will do something a miracle. He will do something amazing. He will do something great. Something you've been crying for. Something you've been waiting for. Something you've been trusting him for. God said, I'm getting ready to do something new. I'm not going to change nothing. I'll do something new. Brand new. I'm not restoring things. The dead things. Why do you want God to resurrect things that has been dead? When he can give you something new. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, when he can do something new, brand new, that yeah. you, 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 or somebody will say, well, you're so kind. Nothing has touched it. This is brand new. This is just for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Our God is a God of a brand new God. Amen. He can do brand new things in your life. Something that you never had. This year, let that be your prayer. This year, and when you are praying, don't ask God to bless you. Say, Lord, let make me to be a, 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 an answering prayer to somebody's prayer. Amen. Make me to be a one that will be able to answer somebody else's prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, bless me so much that I can bless somebody else. Yes. Glory be to God. Don't bless just me. Not just because of me. But bless me because of somebody else. Trust me with yourself. Trust me with your substance. Trust me with your word. Trust me with everything that you know about me. That I will do exactly what you want me to do. Hallelujah. I can do it by myself. I can do it by myself. I can do it by myself. But you are giving me the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is in us. That it will always help us. That's what it's there for. Jesus said, I got to go. I got to go. It is an expedient that I go. Because if I don't go, the Holy Ghost will not come. The Comforter will not come. And if he comes... He will comfort you. When he comes, he will be with you. When he comes, he will show you things. He, when he comes, he will lead you and direct you. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is in us. Amen. Glory be to God. I say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Power of God, the Spirit of the Living God lives in us. You have that power to be able to speak. Speak the word. Speak the things that they're not as if they are. Glory be to God. Amen. And we have to walk by faith and not by sight. You don't have to see to believe. Believe that it is what it is. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. That's the Hebrew boys. Y'all remember? The three Hebrew boys. Meshach. Meshach and Abednego, when they, the king put them in the fire, it was three of them that was in the fire. Mm -hmm. But they, did, they, they, they told the king, we don't care what you do to us. We will never bow to you. Mm -hmm. But we know that we serve a God who will come. And deliver us. And deliver us. But even if he doesn't come, we don't mind. We will still not bow before you. Yes. But see, we serve the God of a promise. We serve the God of a covenant. The one who keeps his promises. That when he promises us that he's going to be with us 24-7, he will always be with us. Hallelujah. Amen. But guess what, though? Let me tell you what, what just blew my mind. The three Hebrew boys didn't see the fourth person in the fire. It was the it was the devil. It was the king who saw that there was four person. So you don't have to see the enemy know the enemy. He know that Jesus is with you. The enemy can see that God is with us. It is up to us to believe. So if the enemy knows, why can't you know? That when you are in the fire, your God is in there with you. Amen. He was able to see. I thought I put three people in there, but there's a fourth man, Jesus. 
He was able to recognize the enemy know what God can do. The enemy know what we have. And we don't even know what we got in our hands. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what the enemy does. He wants to con confuse us. He wants to disturb our mind. He wants to confuse us that God is not with us. Because he knows that God is with us. But if he can convince you that God is not with us, then you will deviate. Then your faith will turn to fear. Hallelujah. But God said, I never give you a spirit of fear. But I give you a power, love, and a sound mind. Glory be to God. Amen. The enemy knows. He knows what we have. He knows what we got. He knows the power that is in us. And why can we recognize? Even the enemy knows that our God is powerful. The enemy knows what our God is capable of doing. The enemy knows what the enemy knows and why can we know who our God is? He was able to see that uh oh oh uh oh uh oh oh I put three people in there but that's the God that they were talking about your God will never leave you nor forsake you I say your God will never leave you nor forsake you he's always right there with you I say he's always right there with you if, if you don't see him if you can't feel him if you can't smell him he is still God hallelujah amen this is your anchor for 2023 trust in him depend on him rely on him turn on him trust him with every fiber of our being hey when i was in ghana they have this lottery that they do they say this one this number is for sure this is banker 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 the whole miss is going to come that's how you have to trust god trust god that it doesn't matter sure for sure this is your assurance Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here of salvation by Jesus, the born of his spirit. Washing his blood. This is my story. This is hallelujah. This is my song. Praise my son. I will Oh, oh, This is my song. I'll praise my Savior all day long. Hallelujah. This is my story. I said, this is my story and this is my song. My God is my assurance. I know that I know that I know that I know in my Noah that my God is a savior, that my God is a good God, that my God is great, that my God is awesome, that my God is God. He's God all by himself. There's no God like him. There's no God that can be compared unto him. No one can stand shoulder to shoulder with him. No no one comes for him. No one voted him, and no one can vote him out. Hallelujah. Amen. He's God all by himself. And Amen. he's your God. I say, and he's your God. I say he's your God. He can do miracles. He can use one person to do what five people can do. Hallelujah. I say he can use only five people can do. He can use only one person to do. What ten people cannot even do. What two people cannot even do. What ten people cannot do. But he can use only one person to do. Because when his strength is in finding your weakness, that's what happened. Hallelujah. Amen. You can trust him. 
that when you are weak, you can say you are strong. Because your strength is found in Him. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. I haven't started this every single year. Beginning of January, we have this fasting. 21 days, 14 days, 7 days. I've done it all. <laughs> Dr. Q, I did it all. And I'm still doing it. So tomorrow, some of them have, or some people have already started. But tomorrow, Sunday, I'm beginning my fasting. Anybody that want to do online, anybody wanted to join me? Yes, you can. You can join me. Oh my God. You can join me with the, um, with fasting and prayer. It's going to be off the hook. God is going to do a mighty, mighty thing. He's going to change some stuff. He's going to move some stuff around. He's going to be ready to do a new thing. He's going to be ready to do a brand new thing. You don't have eyes. He's going to be ready. You're going to be ready to see. I can see clearly. You can see clearly. You will, Your eyes will be wide open. It will be radiant. You can see the things that you've never seen before. Hallelujah. This is what God is going to do for you 2023. I believe in God's for you, you are. I'm believing. Just jo I'm joining my faith with your faith. Believing God for the impossible. Hallelujah! Do the impossible, the things that you don't even think He's gonna do. That you you know He's gonna do it, but you don't know He's gonna do it for real. But guess what? He's gonna do it for real. Hallelujah! So that you can give Him all the glory. That's all He wants. He wants to give you all. You give Him all the glory to honor Him, huh? To give Him all the praise and stand and give testimony. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Glory be to God. Amen. That's all He wants. The testimony for the goodness of God, what He has done, and He's going to do it for you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and me. He's going to do it for all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <coughs> Sorry. Communion time. Anybody want to have communion with me? Anybody want to share communion with me? We're going to seal our prayer tonight. And I'm getting ready to pray. And as I pray, we're going to have that communion. I'm going to pray for God's power to invade every territory, every trap that the enemy thought he has set up for us this year. Whatever they are thinking, whatever they have in their mind, whatever agenda <laughs> that the enemy thought, he thought, but his thought will never prevail. Hallelujah. I said the weapon may form, but it will never prosper. Glory be to God. This year, you will never fail. I said this year, you will never fail. This year, you will never even survive. You are going to thrive. Hallelujah. I said, you are going to thrive. This is going to be your season. This is your season. This is your moment. This is your time. Hallelujah. Amen. You will never fail anymore. Failure is not in you. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, failure is not in you. Yes. You will never lose anything anymore. Whatever you have lost, that's it. Draw the line from 2022. 2023, no more losses. Glory be to God. Oh, I just hear this is from heaven. I said, no more losses in my life. No more losses in my life. No more losses in your life. In the name of Jesus. You open your mouth and say, no more losses. Glory, 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 glory. 
Eka makala bo seke de baya Langa la bataya en son toro bo bo ta yali No more losses No more losses No more losses No more losses I'm never gonna lose nothing I'm not losing my children I'm not losing any family I'm not losing any money I'm not losing any job I'm not gonna lose my joy I'm not gonna lose my peace I'm not losing nothing In the name of Jesus Jesus, amen. Glory be to God. No more amen. losses. I said no more losses. We are not losing amen. nothing. Amen. The joy of the Lord is going to be our portion. Ah. Amen. I said the joy of the Lord is going to yes. be your portion. The joy of the Lord is going to be your portion. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, glory be to God. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's go to God in prayer. Let us go to God in prayer. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now we know where the wicked is. Now we know where our enemy is. Our enemies are not our sister, the one that we can see face to face. Your enemy is not your boss. Your enemy is not your child. Your enemy is not your aunt. Your enemy is the spirit that you cannot see. Hallelujah. Yes. The one that is hidden behind the curve, behind the, the closed doors, behind the curtain, that you can see principalities and powers in darkness in this world. But this year, God has given us the weapon. Hallelujah. Yes. To put on the breastplate of righteousness. The word of God, which is the sword of God, the spirit of God. God has given us the power, the word. The word, the word, the word of God. The word, who is the word? The Bible says, the word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. The word of God. David said, oh Lord, your word is settled. In heaven, the Amen. word of God. John said in the beginning was the word, and word was with God, and the word was God. The word. Yeah. All this will pass away, but the word of God will remain the same. The word. Spirit of the living God, we just want to thank you tonight. Father, I bless you, I give you glory, and I give you all the adoration. I thank you for being God. Yes, you are God and God all by yourself. You are so merciful. You are so great. You are so merciful. You are so great. You are so merciful. You are so great. You've been so merciful. You've been so great. Ha! Huh? You've been so merciful to us. That when the enemy want to kill us, when the enemy want to destroy us, when the enemy want to damage us, Father, your greatness and your mercy has been able to sustain us. Lord, because of that, we say we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for last night. We thank you for yesterday. We thank you for this morning. We are thanking you for tomorrow because you know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what is what's going to happen tomorrow. Even if one hour from tonight, we don't know. But God, you know it all. And so I commend every single soul into your hand. I commend their children into your hand. I commend their own household into your hands. That God, you will protect them. That you will guide them. That you will shield them. In the name of Jesus, I pour the spirit upon them. I plead the blood of Jesus over their house. I cover them with your blood. I cover them with your power. I cover them with your spirit. And I speak to the devil. I said, the enemy, you have no power. You take your dirty hands over God's people. You take yeah. your dirty hands over God's children. They are not 
yours. They belong to Jesus. You have no power. You have no authority. You have no jurisdiction over their home. In the name of Jesus, there is a fine line that has been drawn. You cannot come into our territory. We are born with the blood. We are covered in the blood. We are soaked in the blood. Oh, I speak to you. I said the blood of Jesus is against you. Amen. I said the blood of Jesus is against you, devil. Amen. You have no authority over our life. Jesus has given us the power and has given us authority that we can tread upon serpents and scorpions and by no many means they can hurt us. You can destroy us. You can take our children. Let your life go. Go, go, go out of our lives. Take your, your, your dirty hands over our lives and over our children, over our jobs and over our homes. Over our finances and over our relationship, over our ministry, over our community. We ask you to take your daily hands. This year is a year of a new beginning. God is getting ready to unleash new things into our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray prosperity. I pray peace in their homes. I pray joy in their homes. Whatever their heart desire, those who are looking for new jobs. Oh, a new jobs is coming. Oh, a new creativity is being opened. A new doors has been opened. A new ideas has been released. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for your children. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your mercy over their lives. For he that began a good work in us will get ready to bring it to a completion. We are trusting you for our lives, oh God. We are trusting you with every fiber of our being. We trust you with everything that we have. We trust you with our children. We trust you with our homes. We trust you with our jobs. We trust you with our business. We trust you with our finances. We trust you with our mind. We trust you with everything. You said trust in the Lord with all your heart. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Daddy, direct our path. Jesus, direct our path. Father, direct our path. We thank you for a new doors. We thank you for new ideas. We thank you for new things. You say, yeah, I'm doing a great thing. I'm doing a new thing. Did I not tell you? Don't you know it? Don't you see it? That I'm doing a new thing. We thank you for the new things that you're doing in our lives. Because eyes have never seen, ears have not heard, neither has ears into the heart of man. What God you are about to do for your children. We thank you in advance, oh God. We bless you in advance, oh Jesus. You do it whatever you want to do it. You do it when you find it fit. You do it when you know it's the right time. Because at the fullness of time, you do it again. At the fullness of time, you will do it again. At the fullness of time, you will do it again. Don't let our season pass over us, oh God. Don't let our season pass over us. When the time comes, let us be able to walk in it. Let us be able to walk in our destiny. Oh, if you have to send our destiny, help us. Uh, Father, send it to us, oh God, for we are ready. Uh, our eyes are open. Uh, our hands are open. Uh, our hearts have been opened. Uh, Father, enlarge our territory in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare that the promises of God will come to pass in our lives. I decree, I declare that your promises of our, in our lives will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has put your hands on, I say, take off your hands. Daddy, take off your hands. Oh, devil, take off your hands. And daddy, let your hands be able to cover us. Cover us with your feathers, oh Lord. Shield us, oh God, with your protection. We honor you. We thank you for the new things. That you are already, you already started in our lives. The great things that you've already started. We thank you for where you are taking us. Father, we ask you that you will lead us, oh God. For you are not leading us, we cannot go. If you're not leading us, we cannot see. If you don't lead us, we cannot go. We cannot do it. We cannot be what you want us to be. We ask you to lead us in every area of our lives. Never leave us like you 
you promise us. We are calling on you, Father. We are calling on your word. Because your word is true. Your word is yes. Your word is your word. You stand on your word. You say you have elevated your word over your name. So we thank you for your word tonight. That your word will speak for itself. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you as you cover in our homes. We thank you, oh God, that your fire, your fire, your consuming fire is protecting our homes. It's protecting our community. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for our schools. The schools are getting ready to go. Children are ready to start going to school. We ask for your protection of our children. In the name of Jesus, we are depending, oh Lord, upon your host of angels that they will guide our children and will guide the teachers they will guide the principals in the name of Jesus we thank you for our nation you said if my children that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face they will I hear from heaven I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land that heal our land Jesus heal our land heal our nation heal our communities heal every area from Africa to West Africa to North Africa from South Africa in the name of Jesus from Asia to London every area in this continent in this world for the protect of oh God for if you are not you would never be so we ask you father you continue to show your love over us in the name of Jesus we bless you we bless you for the great things that you are getting ready to do in our lives. For what you've already started doing, complete it, bring it to a completion until the coming of Christ. We thank you. We thank you for your protection. Thank you for healing us. The bodies of God that the enemy thought he's getting ready to destroy our bodies with sickness and disease. You say you came to die for us, that our lives would never be the same. So sickness has no dominion over us. No sickness have dominion over our life. No sickness have dominion over our body. No sickness have dominion over our mind. No sickness or disease have dominion over our body because our body is your temple. We thank you for taking care of this temple for us. You are our God. You are the one that we can lean on. It is you that we live and move and have our being. Without you, we are nothing. We can't be who you want us to be without you. So we thank you for being with us. And no weapon that formed against us will be able to be prospering. It will never prosper. I said no weapon will be able to prosper. Because it be God for you, be for you. Who can be against us? You are for us. And we are yours. So no devil in hell will be able to destroy what you have put together. Father, we thank you. I thank you for marriage is so God. I thank you for marriage is so God. I thank you for marriage is so God. I thank you for understanding and unity and love in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our children. You said our children will be mighty in the land. Ah, our children will be mighty in the land. We thank you for our children. We thank you for holding them up, oh God. They are you are so far that you gave them to us and we gave them back to you. We gave our children back to you. Our grandchildren back to you. Our grandchildren, children, children back to you. In the name of Jesus. Even though that our eyes have never seen, but you have already knew them. You already know them. I say you already know them. So they are in your hand. They are under your care. In the name of Jesus. And because of that, we are so we are counting assurance. We know we will believe and we trust. We thank you. We bless you for a brand new year, a brand new us. You making us brand new in our thinking, brand new in the things that we do, brand new in our lifestyle, thinking brand new in the new beginnings that you are getting ready to do in our lives. 
we give you praise for the big things because you are a big God. We are not thinking small because we don't serve a small God. We don't serve a mini God. We serve a great and mighty king, a gigantic king. That's who you are. So we are thinking big so that you can do big things in our lives. So we will be able to stand tall and give your name praise and glory. We honor you this day. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Ready for communion? Let's seal our prayer with communion. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you who don't have the communion, you don't have the if you have wine or um, juice or cranberry juice whatever you have this is the beginning of the year of our communion uh, we have communion every week on this prayer line if you are joining us for the first time we have communion every saturday to 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 uh, to end our prayers because it is a command from heaven. Jesus said, as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. So yes. every Saturday we have the opportunity, we have life to be able to commune with him, to remember him, for him to know that we have remembered him. Amen. So Amen. if you don't have whatever you have, you can even use the water. And next time, make sure you go to the store and get you yourself some cranberry juice, grape juice, whatever you can get. And we are going to use it to remember our God. Amen. Amen. You are ready? Yes. And I want you to lift it up above your head. Amen. So the healing is coming. It comes straight from your head down all the way down to your feet. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. And on the night of crucifixion, on that night, on that beautiful night, the last night, he sat with his disciples. Yes. He took the bread. He blessed it. And he broke it. Mm. He gave it to them. And he said, this is my broken body. He said, my body has been broken for you. And each and every time you eat this broken body, you eat it in remembrance of me. Amen. And so, Father, today we have remembered you. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Yes. So we leave this up to you tonight, that God, that you will bless it. And as you are blessing it, that everything that is broken in our body, anything that is broken in our bodies, anything that is broken from the crown of our head down to the very sole of our feet, we ask for your healing, Father. And there is no way that your body has been broken for us that our bodies will be broken. We say we count it whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. That our bodies have been made whole by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you tonight that you bless this broken body of us. Amen. And as we eat it, we eat it in remembering of you. Eat yes, all of Lord. it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At the same token, he took the cup. Yes. He said, This my new covenant. Hallelujah. This is the new testament. This is the new covenant. The new covenant is in the blood. He said, as often as you drink it, you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. So, Father, 
Once again, we have remember you. Yes. So that you remember us. Remember us. Remember us as you promised. Remember us in our suffering. Remember us in our pain. Remember us in our worries. In our anxiety. In our issues and in our challenges that we go on, that goes on in our lives, that goes on in our job places, that goes on in our family, that goes on in our loved ones. Father, remember us. Yes, Lord. Remember us. Mm. That your justification for our lives is in your blood. Mm. Our righteousness is in the blood. Our life depends on the blood. It is the blood that has rescued us. It is the blood that has taken the sins of this world. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood that speaks better things. The blood that never loses its power. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Tonight, we lift it up unto you, Jesus. At the beginning of this year, Lord, as we lift it up unto you, that you remember us in every area of our lives. Remember us unto the end of it. Remember us unto the end of ages. Remember us, O oh God, as we pour our hearts unto you. Remember us in every area, every area, every, every area that we don't even know that you know, that you know, that you know. Remember us, Jesus. Remember us in our needs. Remember us in our worries. Remember us. Remember us. Remember us, Jesus. Thank you for remembering us. The blood of Jesus. Drink you all of it. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. You've been washing the blood. Amen. You've been washed in the blood. Amen. You've been rescued by the blood. Amen. You've been kept by the blood. Amen. You've been saved by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Amen. I'll bless thee, o Lord. I'll bless thee, o Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, o Lord. I will bless thee, o Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I bless you, Jesus. Amen. We bless you, Jesus. Amen. Daddy, we bless you. We bless you tonight. We bless you tonight. We will continue to bless your name. For you alone deserve our praise. Amen. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands up and receive the benediction. Yes. Receive the benediction. The yes. blessings of the Lord. Now may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. 
Amen. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. The peace of God. Amen. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. The peace that the world did not give it to you, so this world cannot take it away. No way. No depression can take it away. No worries can take it away. No anxiety will be able to take it away. No suicidal thoughts will be able to take it away. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will be able to give you this peace. But only God will give you that peace. And because he gave you the peace, nothing will be able to take it away. Amen. May the peace of God continue to be in your home. Amen. May the peace continue to be in your home. Amen. May the peace of God continue to be in your home this 2023. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May your sleep be sweet tonight. Amen. May the angels of God visit you guys tonight. Amen. And bring visions and dreams into your life. Yes. Amen. Open your eyes so you can see him. Open your ears so you can hear him. Hallelujah. Amen. Open your heart so you can be able to discern. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Share it. Share it. Invite people. Invite people. Come on. Yeah, girl. What's up, mama? Oh, my goodness. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Facebook family. Thank you, Instagram family. Thank you for each and every one of you for joining. We have started today. It's coming on every Saturday. It's back on life. Amen. Amen. I will see you Amen. guys again. We will do it. We will do it. We will do it. We will do it by the grace of God. God will give us what we need. Amen. He will Amen. give us what we need to be able to come together in one unity. He said, well, one or two people have come together in my name. There I am there in your midst. Amen. So as we come together, it's right there in our midst. And he's going to be with us. And he's going to give us everything that our heart desire. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful night. You do the same, y'all. Love you guys. Love, love, love. Much, much love. Much love, much love, much love you more. Love you, love you, love you. Yeah, go for fun. Where you do bad? Really? For real? For real? Oh my goodness! Yeah. I am Good for you. I'm so grateful. I'm happy. Yeah, you should be happy. I am. I am so happy. I am so blessed. I just thank God. I'm trying to end this thing, Jesus. Mm. Okay. Bye-bye. You, you, oh, sister, the voice is Antivic, right? Grandma Vic. Wow. No day to Jomo. They all doing well. They doing good. Baby is almost going to be two months. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you doing challenge? My goodness. God.